So getting away very nicely is uh, Naofi going in lane six, the New Zealander, said on social media this is not her fastest event, but indeed she has decided to come out with a mindset of go fast or go home, and indeed she's come out with that mindset and already secured gold at these championships, but it is is Shulova who is looking strongest in the pool right now. She's absolutely clawing her way through the water here, the 2017 World Champion and second at the 2019 World Championships. The Brazilian looks to be coming home second. Is it going to be a medal for the Brazilian Palazzo with a third place behind De Rojo and Shulova just outside the middle, Snaufi? What a swim from Miss Chulova. Mackenzie Cohen, a 33-18. But outside her Paralympic record time, but Mallory Wegerman, also an S7 swimmer, I can tell you, has uh, come home in a time that sees her just outside a Paralympic record in the S7 class, the S7 swimmers. But Palazzo is Chulova and De Rojo can celebrate medals. And here they come in the start. And Ishulova, she spends so much time underwater, which is critical in a 50 because you want to use that kick, especially for her where she only has the use here of one arm. And what she does here is she keeps stroking consistently throughout, and she doesn't even appear to tire at all. She's way ahead of everyone else, even in just a 50. So what a swim from uh, Ishulova. 29.91. She's edging closer and closer to breaking that 29-second mark. And let's tie the world record holder at 28.97 swim. And it's still about sub-30 seconds and almost a second clear of uh, Cecilia Geronimo de Raujo, who finishes in silver medal position with Senia Francesca Palazzo, the 23-year-old Italian, claiming her fourth medal in five events as she concludes her Tokyo 2020 on the podium. 